I'm going to go over here to this side. Hi, Sam. Uh, my name's Peter Zing, part of Transhumanism Australia. And uh, I've seen in the news some flack around, you know, this techno-optimism that um, people are having about the future. And, uh, you know, would you identify as a transhumanist and what would you say to the naysayers out there who don't see, you know, the benefits of extending healthy human lifespan, enhancing intelligence and improving the well-being through the investments and also at open AI that you've made? I don't identify as a transhumanist. I think humans are really great, but <laughs> I do, I do agree that you know extending health span and augmenting humans is a, is a very good thing to do. Mm. But also, I'd say none of us are like blindly optimistic. I mean, we started this company because we thought AI could destroy the whole world, and we wanted to figure out how to prevent that. Mm. So I think balance here is really important. This comes with most powerful technologies, but this one in particular. You know, the same thing that can help us cure all diseases could create new terrible ones, and we've got to reckon with that. So I think blind optimism is not the right answer. Neither is blind pessimism. I've been impressed on this trip around the world with how much nuance people have and how they can understand how we have to look at the whole picture, mitigate the risks to get the benefits. Thanks, Sam.